I'd like to demonstrate the recommended cleaning procedure for an Anacom MedTech pillow speaker that has both a USB keyboard port as well as a audio jack. The items that you need to properly clean an Anacom MedTech pillow speaker is a nice clean soft cloth, a disinfectant of some kind, and again this may vary dependent upon the requirements in your hospital and the protocols required. A, some denatured alcohol and a toothbrush or another soft brush of some kind. The first step is to use your disinfectant material which in this case is Clorox wipe and cover the entire pillow speaker making sure that all the areas that you have have been cleaned properly wiping up all of the areas that you see here including the side where the USB keyboard port is located and the audio jack. The pillow speaker then needs to be wiped down with your cloth, getting rid of as much residue as possible, including the area where the keyboard port is located and the audio jack. In some cases, the cleaning agent that you use is a gelatinous material, so it's important that that material be removed from the keyboard port area as well as the audio port, including the pillow speaker grill and also the screw locations located on the back of the case. It's important that any residue left by your cleaning agent be removed so that the contacts are dry and clean. And the way of doing this is the use of denatured alcohol. What you can do is basically take some denatured alcohol, squirt it into the locations, and again, these are sealed so you don't have to worry about the material getting inside the pill speaker, and then take a soft brush of some kind, like a toothbrush, and basically go in and make sure that the inside connectors are clean. The alcohol will dry and it will leave a nice clean surface uh, with no residue that can potentially harm the connector or cause corrosion to form. The Anacom MedTech pillow speaker has a sealed speaker. However, what I would recommend is taking some alcohol on the brush and then cleaning the grill, making sure that all debris or contamination is removed on there. Again, the alcohol will dry clean and not leave a residue. You could also do the very same thing for the screw holds is putting some alcohol in those areas and then using again the brush to clean all of the holes in here making sure that there is no debris contamination of any type and then you can wipe the unit dry with your clean cloth if there is any alcohol in the speaker, you can turn it over and simply shake it out. However, the alcohol will dry by itself and you'll have a nice clean disinfected speaker.